Okay, hello everyone. My name is Julia Lishla. I am from cohort 17 at the Guildhall at SMU. Today's date is January the 21st, 2012, and I'm here today to show you how to export skeletal meshes from Max 2012 into UDK. This is the second of three videos in which we share with you the content workflow of bringing characters, animations, and skeletons into UDK. For this video, we are using Max 2012 as well as the December 2011 build of UDK and Photoshop CS5. Now in the previous video, Jasper has shown you how to take a character mesh and apply it to the skeleton using a system of paint weighting. Now once you've finished with his tutorial, you should have something similar to this, which is a character mesh, a skeleton, and a basic animation, which as you can see here, is just a simple wave. Now the process that we are going to be used of exporting is the Autodesk FVX plugin, which you can download from the Autodesk site. In prior tutorials, we have used ActorX plugin, but unfortunately this is un incompatible with the 2012 version of Max. So we are going to be using the FVX plugin, which is actually very handy in that it combines the static mesh, the skeletal rigs, the animations, and textures and materials into one compact file, which you can then import into UDK and take apart. So, before you export, you want to make sure that you have the final versions of your skeletal mesh, your character mesh, and your animation. Um, you are unable to edit any of the geometry of the character itself after you have paint weighted, uh, otherwise it will decouple the mesh from the skeleton itself. If you do find that you want to create a few different characters that have uh, some different aesthetics, you can consider just changing the texture itself. Uh, right here we just have like a basic female with gray shirt and blue pants. And that's easy to change. You just take it into Photoshop, um, the unwrap, and apply a new paint to it. So in this instance, I just turned her into a basic cave woman, which then you can just pop over in the material editor in 3D Max. And it's important to note that the FBX plugin is capable of exporting your textures and materials. You just need to include the correct naming convention. As you can see here, there is an underscore skin underscore zero zero at the end of the file name. Uh, you must add that to all of your texture files if you want UDK to recognize it as a texture. So we're just going to go ahead and apply this and you can see uh, all, all automatically she has changed from um, just a, a simple cloth into a cave one. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and begin the exporting process. What we're going to do is just using the marquee tool, drag and select everything in the scene, which includes your basic character mesh, your skeleton, and animation. We're going to go up to the top left and click export, export selected. Now navigate to the file in which you want to save it, and uh, be sure to follow your name conventions. And you want to make sure that under Save As Type, you have Autodesk FBX selected. It should be the first thing under the drop-down menu, and it's usually a default, but if not, be sure you have that selected. And hit Save. Now this will actually bring up the FBX export plugin window, uh, where you see a variety of options. But all we are concerned about right now is this animation tab right here. Uh, you should have that check marked, and that's all you need to worry about. So just be sure to click animation and hit OK. And that should be exported. So now we're going to pop over to UDK. This is just the basic UDK window uh, with the content browser opened automatically. If it's not open, you just open it with this icon over here. And we are going to hit import and navigate to the file that you saved the FBX folder in. You should see it as an FBX file. Highlight it and select Open. Now here, uh, UDK prompts you with a window that provides you the opportunity to create your own package, which I would highly suggest. It keeps things organized.
and there are two things down here in this scrollable window that you need to check. One is import animations. And two, you can be import materials and textures. So just make sure that you have those three things checked. Go ahead and hit OK. And this is just a warning regarding smoothing groups, which we are going to ignore right now. And you can see UDK, UDK went ahead and created a new package with all of your information in it. You have your basic skeletal mesh, which is just the character, which you can see. And uh, they have also provided you with, they've imported textures and created a new material for you, which is very handy. It is uh, created it and plugged it right into the diffuse fuse channel, which is very helpful. And you can also go ahead and check on that animation that you've imported, that wave that you saw at the beginning. You can double click that animation set. And down here at the bottom of the window, you can just click play and make sure that she is indeed waving. Now, unfortunately, the FBX exporter can only export one animation at a time. So this is something to consider when you have multiple animations. So this concludes the video on how to export skeletal meshes from Max 2012 to UDK. Uh, we have left you with a nice package that has all of your materials and mesh and animation. Uh, in the next video, Tyler is going to show you how to actually set up the animation in UDK so that you will be able to run it in the scene. Thank you very much and good luck.